Yeah, I can move the camera around. Okay. All right, here we are. It's been a long Monday. Do you want me to turn the camera so that you can say hi? Hi. You're not tall enough. Ow. Okay. You needed to say hi. Okay. Please go sit down now. Please, please go sit down. You want to? Okay, so just let me know. All right, you guys. So we're painting the yellow submarine today, and you do not have to make it yellow. You can make it any other color you like. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. I just want you to be able to see that so that you kind of have a little bit of a reference point. Here you need to see. Okay, this will work. Okay, so this is my um paper this is bins you cannot quite see bogdan's but you really don't need to so we're gonna start with just painting the sea okay if you okay so we're not using a tracer we're gonna just freehand it yeah. uh, but if you are using a tracer uh, you might want to make sure that your submarine lines are a little bit heavier because we're going to put a lot of blue on that. I want you to be still able to uh, to, to see your lines if you are using the tracer. Okay. Now, let me see. If you guys are with us, obviously say hi. hi. <laughs> if you're watching your replay, let us know. Uh, we're streaming into our Facebook page and to YouTube. So whichever, where you're watching, let me know if you're on YouTube or Facebook page. Okay, enough with that. So we're going to start with our flats. You're going to need a flat brush, um, something like a three quarter or an inch. So I have this one for Benjamin. And where's the other one? I have this one for Bogdan, and I have a smaller one for me, just to slow me down, right? Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to give you guys your paper towels, okay. Yeah. I don't know where mine's going to fit. Fold it in four. I think this is good. Yeah, so every time I use a paper towel, I fold it in four. Is this four? One, fold and half. four. Yes, that's yes, what I Yes, and do. half and then half. And same with me. And then, and then it doesn't take as much room and it soaks up the paint real well. Here's what we're going to do. The first thing we're doing, okay? We're going to give a little bit of water to our paper. Yeah. Bogdan, would you please go get the dog so he doesn't... Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we're going to wait for Bogdan to come back. I don't know what's with the ouchie. Maybe he hit us for something. Maybe. Oh, stuff is so like okay. we always the do. The is back. Miss any? No, I was waiting for you. Okay. okay. So look, we're gonna put a little bit of water on our paper. We do not want it drenched a little bit. So That's we're good. gonna dip in, make your brush wet. Take most of it onto the paper towel. And then just bring this water onto your paper and uh, look and see if your paper is still too dry maybe go big big strokes up and down up and down up and down up and down like this or side to side you do not want it too wet but you want your base a little bit wet especially if you're using a canvas canvases get real dry and uh, then they soak up your paint and then you need to put more paint on them more paint than you need okay here we go all right so this is what we're painting so this is the like the ocean almost ocean floor we're gonna need the lighter blue on the top and the darker blue on the bottom I have uh, this, where is my camera? Here. So this is very close to phthalo blue. What's phthalo blue? It's just dark blue. Oh. So we're going to put that on the plate and we're going to be sharing, you guys. 
So I'm just putting enough for three people, okay? You don't probably don't need that much. I'm going to put sky blue on. If you have cerulean blue, that would be perfect also. I just don't have much left of that, so I'm using sky blue. And I'm going to put a little bit of white for, for when, you know what, I'm going to use the other white. Um, it's also acrylic, it's all that, it's just different brand. For when, if we want to make our blue on the top a little bit lighter. Okay. So, let me see how we're going to position this. Let's. Let's go like this. Can you reach out to him? Okay. So listen. Damp brush. Beep. On the paper towel. Beep. Beep. Grab your white. Totally damp. Start at the top. This oh, is my top. Thing. I had to turn my I had to turn my paper so that it would position right for the camera. Okay. So start at the top and go from side to side, wide motions. With just white. Also, oh, uh, also, I'm supposed like, to cover the like this, oh. Benjamin. Like this. Look at me, Benjamin. Like this. No, honey, you're doing this. I said, do like this. Wide, wide, off from your shoulder. Ben, look at me, please. Look at me. Mm -hmm. Good exercise. You need to work from your shoulder, not your wrist. Your shoulder, your shoulder, shoulder. Yes, there you go. Am I doing it? No, don't go all the way down. Mm -hmm. Just the top. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oops. Now we're gonna use the same messy brush. You're gonna dip it in the water. It's fine. A little. I didn't say rinse. I said dip. Okay. Take the excess water onto your paper towel. Grab some of that sky blue. And start going from the bottom line of your white where your white finished. So my white stopped right here. And I'm going to bring it all the way up. Mama, can I pretend my white stopped here? Yes. We can fix that. No big deal. Yay. I okay. Mistakes. Now, if you feel that it's not spreading, you don't need more paint. You need a little bit more water. If your brush is thirsty, it's not going to, sorry, it's not going to move your paint around. If your brush is thirsty, it's not going to move your paint around. You need to bring it up. I think I like that expression, kind of. You need a little more of the sun. Just go. And, and also thirsty. Yes, don't be afraid to add more water to it. I'm giving you guys, I gave you. Advice. Um, no, I gave you professional paint, artist paint. It does. You don't need that much paint. Okay. You know what I forgot? I forgot to put a, a paper. So I always put a piece of paper when I work in a pad so that my next sheet doesn't get so messy. Okay, now you're gonna use the same messy brush. Make it wet again, Beep. like real wet. Put some more wetness on your page so that your... Dip? Yes, just dip. Oh, this is so dip. wet. Dip and spread it over your paper. All over my paper? Yeah. Uh, then dip again. Yeah. It doesn't matter, it doesn't need to be perfect. And then get your darker blue, uh, go to the bottom of your paper, and start bringing it up to the point where it will connect with your... Now with this one, the, this darker blue, that's our regular paint, so you might need a little bit more. We taped uh, the. I taped your guys's work to the table so that it's easier to just drag the brush and your your paper is not flying all over the place. But try not to flick it off, okay? I'm just asking, uh, okay? What I'm, what I'm doing is I'm like making it go, 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 jump. Mm -hmm. And then go back and a little bit and keep going. 
your paintbrush is dry by Benjamin. Okay. No, it means you need water. Oh. You need some water on your paintbrush. It's okay. So here's what to do if your paintbrush is thirsty, right? But you still have paint on it. You don't need to rinse it. You just dip it in water once. Dip. That's it. Yeah. And work. And you will see how much easier your paint will spread. See? <sighs> much easier, right? I want to make my shiny. And it is so as I'm getting closer to the light blue, I'm just uh, dipping my paintbrush in water, and that's it. And uh, I am kind of keep going. I keep going back and forth, yeah, left okay. and right. Yeah. I just I'll keep explain. going and uh, connecting the two colors so that there is no line in between them. If there is a line in between them, it looks like it's the sky and the water, right? But we need it to be just the water. We're deep, 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 deep under the water. Deep, deep, deep inside there. Hey, Mama, okay. I have a question. If we want, do we have to make our, our submarine yellow? You can make it any color you like. I just know that yellow looks much better on blue. Blue and yellow are complementary <laughs> for each other. They they look much better together. But if you want some other color, you definitely can have that. Okay, so oh. put a little bit of water on your brush. Dip your brush in. Yes, ma'am. Can I make a ghost submarine? Whatever you like. like put your brush stuck. in. Listen, listen. And with your wet brush, start like here. And I want you to go left and right and drag it all the way up. Start here. Start here. I'm trying to rinse it out. No, you need the water. You don't need to rinse it out. You need this. You all you need all of the this. Whole paper, all and just yes, go black. across and up. Oh, the whole paper this time, right? Yes. See what happened with mine? See how I have the gradient, how the color changes? This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to erase this line over here. Go back to your line over here and put a little bit more work onto that. Okay. I'm just going to get back here. All right. I'm going to step back so you can see what we're painting. Why do you have to keep showing what we're painting? Because it's easier to have a reference and be able to see what we're doing. And you know what? Okay, so once you're happy with your gradient, like once you see that, okay, that's good. I like that. Whoa, do you like mine? You can, yes, that's super really shiny. Good. Yes. Uh, we're going to rinse those brushes very well, gently. Okay, kind of yeah, pat it. Sorry, here you can share with me. Pat it dry on your paper towel, and the big big brushes are going away. We are done with the big brushes for now. Do you like mine? Yes, I like yours. Whoa, well, I love yours. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do next, you guys. We're gonna grab filbert brushes. Filbert brushes are the ones uh, that have like a rounded tip. See that, boys? See, they're shaped. They're shaped like almonds. Almonds? Yeah. Almond. Almonds. Almonds. Speaking of what almonds, happened? I'm hungry. Shh. Something kicked my sound on. Hold on. Hmm? Oh, I know what's going on. So, uh, how about now? Yeah. Okay, so some like my phone sometimes it would um Blip. no 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 yeah. somebody would be calling me and of course it's like a sales call it's like a spam caller and it kicks my sound back on so that doesn't help all right so this called a filled belt filbert brush you do not need a big size let me see what we have so that I can. I think Ben would be pretty well off with this size, and Bogdan mm -hmm. will do great with this size. Mm -hmm. And or maybe Bogdan, do you want a bigger size or a smaller size? What are we gonna do with it? We're gonna paint the submarine, but not just yet. 
Which size do you want? What? Making you have a smaller one? Okay. This is all super wet. Okay. So I'm going to mute me for a second, just for a hot second. And we're going to use a blow dryer to help our stuff dry. Why is. Okay. My camera was out of focus. Okay. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Yeah. Let me take that off. All right. So if you're freehanding, then you're going to need to uh, figure out how to paint your own submarine. And no matter what color you're going to use, you're going to need to block this blue. So this blue, if we put any color on top of it, it's going to mess up your color, right? So if I put red on top of blue, what am I going to get? Purple. Purple. If I'm, uh, if I put, uh, let's say, yellow right on top of the blue, what am I going to get? Green. Green, definitely. So we need to block this blue. If I'm going to put green on top of this blue, what am I going to get? A teal. Some, some, yeah, teal or well, maybe like, like brownish, like, right? It depending. Looks, it looks like there's a bunch of algae in there. Right. Like depending. Algae. algae is some kind of plant. Yes. Algae. Depending on your. Uh, color, right? But it's not going to be the color that you want. That's going to get tint. It's going to get a blue tint. So to block this, what we're going to do, we're going to create a gray with our white and black. Isn't that the only way to make it? Right? Right. So I'm just adding this black to the white and I'm mixing it in. We cannot, we do not want it too dark because we're putting a light color on top of it. This will also <laughs> mess up your color if you use too much of black. See, this is good enough. It's just off, off of white. Okay, it doesn't need to be too dark. What color are you okay. going to make yours? So here's what we're going to think about, guys. Think about positioning of your submarine and what you're going to do, okay? So look at it this way. On the side over here, your left-hand side, put your left hand on there. No, not this way, this way. Yes. Oh, like so this. this is where the propeller goes like, and the little the engine. Way. Is this the wrong way? Is it your left hand? No, this hand. is your right hand left hand okay all right it is really oh, get white. your brush put a little bit of the slight gray on the tip like this this good like on the tip you need a flat tip 
a flat tip like that. Okay. Okay. So here's my left hand, and I'm just gonna put a tiny mark next to my left hand like this. This? Yes, just like that. Just a one tiny mark. This? Yes. And so this marks this side of the submarine. Do you see it like that? This side over here. Hmm. Okay. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to use uh, maybe two or three fingers on the other side. Still right? Still left hand? Yeah. Because you need to hold your brush with your right hand. How many fingers do I have to use? Yeah? Like that. Okay. My, um, my sound is on again for some reason. What do you need, man? I don't know what's going on. Okay, got it. So, again, you can put your own hand, all hand, or you can use just three fingers. We're just marking the distance for here between the submarine and the other side of the page. Okay? So you kind of decide how far your submarine wants to be, how long it is, and just make another mark. How big you want your submarine to be. Yeah? Do you want it this long? Do you want it this long? Do you want it this short? How long do you want it from here to here then? You want to stop here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mine's going to be long. All right. We're using the same brush. Do not put any more paint on it. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to sketch and it's going to be a dry brush. Ready? Okay. okay. So go to the back of your submarine. Uh, so this is my back? Yes. And draw a line upside down from top to bottom, just a line. And like uh, don't make it too long. This is how, look, we'll be, be doing this part over here. Okay. So decide how... Oh, it's too thick. That's okay. That's okay. You're going to paint over it. It's just... It's just giving you lines, and my phone did this again. I have no idea why. Huh? Yeah, it just keeps kicking the microphone on. I don't know why. Stop kicking the microphone. What's phone, going on? Phone. Microphone, phone. Okay. Then. Okay. So, from here. This is your bottom. Go to the bottom of your submarine. You're going to draw a line almost all the way, almost all the way to this little line over here. Okay, guys, if somebody's watching, tell me, do you hear an echo? I do. I mean, I did. I just don't understand. Okay. You know what part we're painting now? Okay. Now, this is going to be the front of your submarine. So you're going to connect and you're going to make it a curvy line over here. Like a curve, right? Like, just like that. Okay. I'm doing the bottom and you're doing the top. I tried. Is that okay? Sorry. No, that's fine. Again? <sighs> Guys, I don't know what's going on with this sound. I mean, I've been messing with this forever. Like, every time I go live, I have these issues. No. I don't know what's going on anymore. It used to be so easy. Okay. Ready? All right, now look here. So this is the line in the back. Here, let me turn it a little bit further back down. So this is our line in the back. We're going to bring it up a little bit, round it up. And then up on top, like we're making this uh, cabin for the crew. Okay? I thought the bottom part was the part for the crew. And then the top no, this part is where the, the driver cockpit. sits. Well, the cockpit. Okay. The driver sits here. So we're going to bring this up around, up, just like you would do a truck, just like you would uh, do a truck. 
Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, like for our um, and the cockpit. Oh, like for our last Christmas thing we did with the truck with the blue truck. Yes. Okay. If your if your brush is getting too dry, look what you do. Look at me. Mm -hmm. Look what you do. You go back here and you get just a little bit with your tip, and you keep it flat. Okay. All right. So here we. All right. That works. I am going up, I mean, to the side first, maybe a little bit more, oh, and I'm going to go up. Hey, you just have a different model of a submarine, that's fine. No, I, I, ruined, I ruined my own. What did you want? What? I want to be clearly at the floor. So if, if something Ghost like this up. happened, like Ghost you painted up. some, this is why we dried the um, the background, right? Oh, great. Does this work? Erase. Huh? So this is why we dry the background completely so that if we mess up with this, we can go back with a baby wipe or a damp paper towel and my sound is, is funky again. Okay, I'm going to give it one more try, you guys. And if it keeps kicking in again, I might have to uh, switch to just recording. And I will just record it and then upload it for you guys later because this is not cool. All right, okay. Benjamin, think in your brain what shape you want to create and then make it. Think first, okay? So, here's mine. So, here's the top. Here's where I am. What are you trying to do? Oh, is, that, is there an extra line that we didn't remove? Yeah. There you go. There you go. I may have drawn my last line that I want. Okay, yes. If you know the shape of the submarine that you want, just go do it. What, you want this line too? Yeah, the, the whole thing. Oh, the whole thing. Okay, well, you weren't specific. There you go. Let it dry. Mm -hmm. Give it a minute to dry. So it's not shiny. Okay. So when you look at it, it shouldn't be shiny. Like over here, spots are shiny. Oh, too much. That's okay. We're going to cover it all. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this is yeah. my cockpit, Bogdan said it's called. Yeah. So I'm just going to. Or my, driver. Yes. And so I'm just going to connect. Like that. Oh, I like okay. yours. And I like yours. Mine kind of looks like a speedboat underwater. Okay. Now look, uh, mine here <laughs> in my picture, I have a satellite dish on the top. Uh -huh. You can put a periscope on it or just antennas or, you know, whatever works for you. Yes, I really like the satellite dish, so that's why I have it. So for the satellite dish... What you're gonna do, you're gonna go up onto the top of your cockpit. Do we have to put it on the top? Uh, the satellite dish? Yeah. Probably. I wanna, I wanna put it over here. Okay, put it on the side. Or, or Stop. Off the back. Just be mindful that the propellers go away in the back. There is the propeller over here. No, and yeah. what I'm gonna do is, is this. Okay, so for my satellite dish, I'm just going to... This is fine. Yes, it's ready for you, Ben. So you kind of start with this kind of... It's shaped like an eye, pretty much. Okay. And then you bring a little bit more... Make it a little bit more round on the I bottom. Think I think it's not wet enough. What is not wet it's, enough? It's not dry. It's dry enough. You just need to put a little bit more paint on your brush and make sure that your paint is on the tips. There. I make mine. I'm, okay, that's I'm good. That's good. Okay. Now, um, let's add that little propeller thingy on the back. So we're going to have this like holder for it like that. And then think what's easier for you because, like, back down, you might want to stand up and be on this side. 
yeah, to do that. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to paint a number eight or an infinity sign. The middle should be in the middle of this ancient thing and you can make it as wide or as narrow as you like. And so this is going to be our propeller thing. Okay, do not paint inside of it. Uh, Very good. Just make a number eight. That's good. Look what I did. On okay. Sign. I, I did three mixes instead of two. Do you want me to clean it? Do you want me to clean it? Yes, I want you to erase only this. I can't erase only this one. I can erase the whole thing and then you can try again. Whoa. That was quick. Hmm. Just fine. Yeah, yeah, it's good, looks good. Okay, so once we have our shape, we're gonna use this gray color and we're gonna cover, we're gonna paint this whole sad marine gray first. Whoa, okay. Not inside of the propeller, no, just the line of the propeller. Even the cockpit? Even the cockpit, everything. Like this whole shape. So it's going to look really, it really is going to look like a little ghost. Kind of. Awesome. Yeah. I've seen ghosts. Right. Ghosts In my dreams. Suck. In my dreams. Yeah. Once I, had a, once I had a dream of me swimming, of me swimming, and then I ran my head into a ghost submarine. Really? Yeah. Wow. When I was like two. Okay. And you, you, you remember what you dreamt when you were two? Uh, it, was a a, it, was, it, it was a pretty it intense was a, nightmare. It I was, was one of those intense nightmares when you wake up and come snuggle with mama? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get it. Yeah, you always did that. No way! Not always. He only did right? that when he had those nightmares. I always, well, well, I used to do it every, well, when I was like two or three or something, I go, I went to your bed every day. Yeah. But I didn't have to do it every day. Mm -hmm. I just did it when I was like two or three. I hate me. I also hate normal dreams. Okay, let's talk about something positive and let's not use that word again, okay? Okay. Thank you. Sorry. You can say I don't like. I, I you can don't say like, they make me uncomfortable. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't like nightmares. Well, I, yeah. I don't even like normal dreams because oh. they always end up. Okay. Being again, nightmares. positive. It's, I'm true. I'm positive. You're not positive. Yes, I am. Okay. So, uh, if you painted the um, the satellite dish. You might want to add a little bit more gray onto it, especially if yours is like mine and it's still showing some blue. Okay. I think I need wait. Wait for me. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm not running away, am I? Yes, you are actually. No, I am not. Look what you need to do. Look, use your flat brush <laughs> and just pick up all of this too much paint. Too much paint, okay? Looks doesn't look great to me. It will it's dry light. forever. It will take forever to dry. See what I'm doing? Okay. Putting a little bit more pressure on your brush and dragging it gently. Okay. Yeah? May I? Is this okay? Okay, fine. There. See? Okay. Okay. All right. Rinse out your brush. Oh, don't, don't, don't rinse out your brush. I'll take it back. Because we still have fish. We have little fish to add. Fishies. Yes. And I'm going to show you how to add the fish. Who's painting fish how, with me? I know how to. I'll start. I think. But okay. I'll watch. So you choose a spot where you want to put the fish. And you start with like an eye shape again. Like this. And then you close it like that. Okay, that's your fish body. Then you go again over this bottom line and you extend it up higher, but not too far. You go over the top line and you extend it much lower. 
okay and then you add like a wavy line and that's your tail and so you're gonna also make it all gray so that later you can add some bright colors to it and it will show so that's your fish you can choose any directions for it you can also make the, this more of a the nose <laughs> where is it the nose of the fish around it yeah so um that's one way the other way is to start with an oval like Bogdan is doing yeah and then just add a tail just like that and then I would grab a little bit more paint and I would add this kind of mouth that fish have and then hold on uh the fins on the top i almost forgot that they need the fins on the top and okay. the bottom so we just add yes benjamin oh, nothing i was like uh, can we do anglerfish and what anglerfish anglerfish angler what is that it's it, um, it's mama, have you, fish. Okay, mama have I you ever started see, 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 mama have you ever seen seen like a fish with a flashlight oh yeah <laughs> if, if, if you would like flashlight. to paint that go ahead it's your painting that looks like <laughs> okay so i'm gonna add maybe one more fish over here just i'm, I'm trying to make them a little bit different shapes so that, that's like a little bit more fun to look at. Just the same way. I start with the body. I kind of think, okay, what do I want to do for the tail? I really like when they have these kind of long, pretty tails. I forgot what they're called. They have a name that I can never remember. But uh, we're not painting anything that's like... Um, correct right physiology physiology or anatomy whatever we just kind of oh, i'm trying to paint, paint a dolphin paint a dolphin then it's just the nose is dolphins big. are not easy i gotta tell you but the dolphin has to be all dolphin <sighs> yeah dolphins are like they're, they're shaped like a banana what if you would think of a dolphin shape they shape like a banana and then you add a nose, and then you add a tail on the bottom, and the fin. That's easy. And that's kind of, yeah, like, if you need an idea on how to paint a dolphin, I would, or draw a dolphin, I would start I like with this. a, I would start with a banana shape. Okay, put your water there, honey. Sorry. Okay, we got it. But that was quick. Whoops. What is it? Because there's a lot of paint on here dude okay let me grab another one another wipe another wipey wipey bite wipey 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 for bite -zay. okay and i'm gonna do what bagdan doesn't like i'm gonna put my hand on his picture and i'm gonna take a little bit of his paint off so that it starts drying because it's a puddle of done. paint on here. I'm no, not, it is. Yes, it is. And I'm not messing with your shapes or anything. I'm just making it look, making it a little bit less of a puddle of paint. There you go. Beep, 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 beep. Well, I'm, I think I'm done. Okay, if you're done adding all your shapes in, go ahead and rinse out your brush. Rinse out, clean it on your paper towel. Make sure that you've taken all the paint out. Especially what I noticed when you work with your paintbrush. Look, the paint uh, collects over here at this part. That's the hardest part to get off. So I would dry it on the paper towel and then I go back and I kind of pat. No, 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 no. You hold. I want you to feel the like this. Can you feel the brush hitting the bottom? Okay. But you be gentle with it, like up and down, like like. Because you want the water to get through the bristles all the way to the bottom. Because when the paint dries on there, the brush becomes stiff, and it's 
not very easy to use. Do you want me to open? Yeah. But to me, yeah. But from do you want to make him? Do you want to make him a little bit thicker in the middle, just like a banana? Do you want me to show you how? No, you're good. Mm -hmm. Are you good? Okay, but okay. I don't think, but there, I think there's one thing wrong with my dolphin. Yeah. At the head, it looks like it has the head of a of a of a male lion. Okay, it's a different kind of a dolphin then. Yay. Yay. Okay. What did I do with my extra paper plates? I and have a gazillion. Uh, it's over there. Paper plates? Oh. Uh, I thought they were over there. Them? Oh, they're right here. Never mind. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. So, if you are freehanding this and you do not have the tracer and you're not comfortable drawing your own circles, you can always find something that you can use to make your circles, okay? So what I do here, look, I just take off the cap of my paint bottle and I make sure that the bottle stays somewhere where it doesn't, where it's not gonna fall. And I'm gonna put some paint on the rim of it and then I can just stamp my windows on there. And then I will just paint them in. Wow. Yeah. I don't really see those even. So those, uh, the windows are gonna be sky blue color, this one. I'm gonna spray some water on it because it's drying. There. I think my window's shattered. It's up to you. It's what Ghost, you're doing. Okay, so I have some paint. And I'm just gonna, or you can just dip it into your paint if it works for you. Mama, is it okay if we don't add all the stuff? Okay. Add it you, you don't need to, you're fine. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna need a window here. And uh, here. Bogdan, please stop shaking the table, hon. No, 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 not sorry. Stop doing that. Try. I don't want you to be sorry. I want you to stop doing that. But cool. And here. Okay, so I have my windows. Can I do it next? Okay, here's one for Ben. We have enough, we have enough bottle caps for everybody. Here's one for Bogdan. You know what we're doing, do it. I need to get some blue. Yes. And so having this kind of is going to help me to work around. Here, use my brush. It already has blue. Or you can add some more if you want to. Um, yes. Because, again, I'm going against all of this blue, white, and yellow, and all of that, right? So mm -hmm. we're going to take care of that. I'm rinsing out Bogdan's brush, if you're wondering what I'm doing. Uh, you might want to add more paint to it, but me? Yes, you. Okay. And good. Uh, 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 Sorry. Uh, okay. It's I'm okay. Under the wrong blue. And I. What? You're done with your painting? No, no, the windows. Oh, okay. Then you will have step. Maybe. Okay, so the next step we're gonna decide what kind of what color you're gonna paint the body of your submarine. Mine is Dark gonna be brown. yellow. Dark brown. Okay. Rusted. Rusted. Okay. Rusted. So before I do that, I still have a cockpit. So I'm just gonna outline. Me too. Just gonna outline the cockpit window so that I do not paint inside of it yellow. I do not want to do that because then I'll have to block the color again and all of that. I do I'm not want to do I'm, that. I'm making one of those military subs that don't have a front window. Okay, that's fine. Mine is more like a science, science um, research. 
So we have a front I'm window. Not we have a front window so we can see what's going on. <laughs> I'm going to This month, this, yes. and this are yes. just torpedoes that have been sitting there for a really long time. Here we go again. Well, it kind of lasted a long time, so hold on. Yay. Wow. Sorry, um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Aye. It stopped. Yes, I just turned it off. That's why it stopped. Okay. Okay, so I'm putting yellow on, just four colors. May I put on my windows? What color do you want for your submarine, Bogdan? Mm. I want mine to be red. Red. Okay. So I have yellow. I'm putting brown on for Benjamin. Or rusted silver. And my phone did this again. Huh. Hold on. Did I turn it off? I did, and then it kicked on again. There are reasons why I like videos and I don't like videos. Hmm. Okay, let's try. Does this work? Hope it did. Okay. And Bogdan says he wants the red, so I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna put some red on it. Oh, so you, oh, so yours gonna be like a science sub? Yeah. I still, I think I yes, being general. I just need some blue because I need to finish these circles. Here's the blue. Here, let me move the water a little oh. bit. Okay. You got your, you got your yellow, Ben got his brown, and I got my yes. red. Yes. So if uh, if you're painting yellow, I told you guys to make sure to have uh, lemon yellow which is a cooler yellow. And the lemon yellow is going to be the first that we're going to paint on because then the warm yellow goes on top and it allows us to create the uh, shading that we want. Okay. So I'm just going to Paint the full body, dude. You don't really need to push it that hard. Okay, done. So I'm just painting the full body of my oh, submarine in yellow, stony blue, including the. Oh God, I forgot. Not something. Just put it over here. Put it over here. Put it over here. I need to do some. So I'm painting the whole thing. Okay, then, then mine's also if you have, too, so. um, you can also do it with like lighter yellow. So maybe you would add a little bit of white to your yellow before going the first, doing the first coat. Okay, then, then, when not, I'm adding to my, to my, to my, the, um, military sub. Yeah. Well, kind of military, even though it has a windshield. It's um a name. Well done. I'm gonna name it Dragon. The the dragon. The dragon. I don't know if that will fit in there. Just gonna write it really small. It depends on what kind of a brush you use. If you use a tiny brush, it might fit. Okay. There goes. Oh gosh, now what? What's this award? Kind of looks like it's coming from Papa. Okay. So there is that. And I really like painting my propeller red. So that's what I'm. Don't put your paintbrush on top of your painting. This one. So I'm just going to rinse my brush and grab some red color from the thing. 
and I'm going to paint it on top of the propeller. If you do not want to do the um, all the weeds like I did, what you can do, you can use a bubble wrap and you can mix very, very light, <coughs> bless you, yeah. very, very light blue and then paint it on your bubble wrap and then make print on top of it and it'll look like little um, air bubbles all over the place. So that probably would also be fun. I did use magenta on my fish when I painted them the first time. So that's something. No, it's not going to work. Okay. So my submarine looks like it needs another coat of yellow. I want this coat to dry before I put another coat in. So I'm going to paint my fish. You guys can paint whatever, whatever you're working on. Just keep working on it. Don't feel rushed. It's all good. Anybody else needs magenta or is it just me? Just you. Okay. So I'm not using it. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out of the tube. Because nobody else is gonna use it, so I'm just gonna get just a little bit so that we don't waste it. Hey Ben Ben. Would you share a little bit of your bone? It's right here. Sure. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll have it. Okay. Oh, ghosts of rusted. There we go. Oh, most dear. of it's most of it's rusted. You it know looks, why I put brown in the windows? It looks scary. Shattered. Yeah, because the windows are broken. That is scary. Yeah. You know, you know what would make them look even more broken? What? For the black on there. Because when there's oh, no so it's light, dark, so it's dark. Because when there's no light, it's dark, it's black. <laughs> so instead of putting brown, wait for the brown to dry. Yes. And then add black on top of that, and it will look more broken and scary. Bro, I do have anger fish here. Okay. And I'm gonna color this art my torpedoes. <laughs> Started sitting on the ocean floor. Okay, well, guys, this was supposed to be a little happy painting with like a yellow submarine and cute little fish floating around. And apparently, Benjamin had turned it into a ghost submarine with torpedoes and torpedoes, so to and all the crazy, scary torpedoes. stuff. So. Torpedoes are no is normal for military sub. Fine, fine. That's what I'm saying. Mine was going to be a fun little painting, and well, yours has stuff. turned into a um, military grade whatever. Ghost. Ghost. Mom, is it okay if I use it's a tiny sunk. bit of your. Sunk. You can use whatever paint you like. You're fine. Okay. If it's on that palette, you can use it. If you need some other color, tell me, and if I have it, I'll let you have it. Okay. Do you, do you like this fish? Oh yeah, that's fun. It kind of looks like it's wearing now wearing clothes, like a stencil. Okay. I wonder if I should put gold on the angler fishes. No, we're not gonna put gold no. on today. No, 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 on the on the lights, the lights. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning, that's what I meant. On the lights, on their heads. So uh, again, no, we're not gonna use gold today. Okay, then maybe I'll just use yellow. Yes, yellow will look Marble. good. Okay, Marble. I'm adding more yellow to my thing. Now tell me about that. What? Can, can, um, uh, would you mind giving? Do you have the blue? The, the a dolphin blue? Uh, dolphin blue is uh, pretty much gray. So what you do to make dolphin blue, you take this gray that we already have here, mm -hmm. and you add a tiny dot of sky blue. And you mix it, and it will give you the color that you want. So, okay. So I think I know all I need to do. Just dip. 
Just the tip, tip, tip. Okay, okay like this one. Kind of paint the anglers. Mm, like do it where the paint is wet there. And then all you need, you don't need much. So we're gonna grab this paint here, bring it to the side, okay. and mix it okay. in here. Okay, see how it's changing you to like this look. Ah, it's gently, 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 gently. That's how I do it. No, you're doing, you're breaking the brush like this. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, yes, guys, I just can't help it. When I see the brush be, brushes being handled, not in a nice way, it just kind of ruffles my feathers in the wrong way. Yes, I like that expression. Yeah. Did you ruffling my feathers in the wrong way? Yes. Yeah. I like ruffling people's feathers in the wrong way. <sighs> because that's what Bogdan does. That's what he always does. He so, likes to challenge people's patience, huh? Yes. Okay, then. I always tell him to start. And what I mean is, don't touch right, my Can patience. we please, okay, can we please just paint? Remember what these dots are is the um, is the water that this is kind of shooting out. Okay. Now look, do you want it often a little bit darker? Yeah. Okay. Dress so this. no, you're gonna dip in a tiny, tiny, like even tiny, yes, tiny black. There you go. And you mix it in here. There you go. And then you try it on your dolphin and you see is it dark enough or do you want it a little bit darker? Same then add a little bit more black and test it again. Okay, I'm going to paint Too my... Then add a little bit more. No, no, no. Test it. I think it will look good. Look, see? Because it goes on top of white. Whoa. So it doesn't look the same. You got to test it. I like it. Okay, good. Okay, which yellow should I use? This one? For what? My anchor lights. I would use a dot. Wait. Start with the gray. Block. Oh, Are you already oh. blocked out it? Okay, go with oh, this. this. Go with the lemon yellow. Oh, dude, that's too. Hold on, hold on. Sorry. Put it up water. Look, you didn't clean your brush. You see, you're bringing brown into the yellow. Oh, sorry. Don't wiggle wobble. Okay, here, but then here's your brush. Okay, no, man, can I, um, can I use the, uh, okay, the dryer on it, please? Not yet. But, once you guys are done? Yes. I'm nearly done. Is Mom okay. nearly done? I am not. Because you guys decided not to paint the yeah. the so, weeds, the seaweed and the plants. And it hard. sounds like my phone turned on the sound again. Oh, you son of a god again. Okay. How about now? It's no. Okay. And now? And now? And still now, and it's not even responding anymore. It's still now, and it's not responding anymore. Can you stop John, you're not helping. Just kidding. Huh? Okay. All right. So I'm just using the sky blue, painting in the windows. I did paint in the windows. I am using the white blue, painting the windows. I am. Not Bogdan is. I am. Yeah? Please stop shaking the table, hon. I was just getting out of my chair. Mama, tell me when I can use the blow dryer, okay? I'm going to be in my room. I am not calling you. What? If you're gone, you're gone. Alright. Okay, so my submarine is dry enough. I'm going to add... Some of the um, warm yellow. Sorry. 
so the uh, warm yellow kind of goes on the bottom of the satellite dish kind of adds the shade and then it goes here on the body right underneath the um the window the cockpit window just to add a shade and what do you need then i'm ready for my black okay there's black right here black my window, my shattered windows. Okay, and I'm gonna just add okay. oh too much. Okay, some of the yellow here and there, and I'm gonna clean up my brush because if you see that I made a mess over here, so I'm just gonna go back and kind of pick it up a little. Didn't work very well, but it's okay. I can always put a little bit more black, uh, blah, 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 more blue on top. Okay, let's see. What do we have left, and what do we have? We're on time, we're running out of time. So, I'm just going to show you real quick how to paint your weeds, and you can finish it on your own if you want to add them, okay? So to paint your weeds, your seaweed, all of these plants here, you're going to need your emerald green. And I know that my emerald green is very transparent, super transparent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my plate and I'm going to add, whoa, I put too much on my plate. But I'm going to stir it. Stop. I put the black on my blue. It's okay. Look, you can lift it. But now, and now, look, it looks even cooler. It's all good. Okay, so I'm gonna, what? Here, here, go dab, dab, dab on it. So I'm getting this gray that we used before, right? And this gray is going to help my green to be not as transparent. It also makes it look a lot more fun, right? In the, like the color wise. Ben, that is not easy. You need to slow down. Stop. Mm -hmm. What do you think the problem is here? The problem is the size of your brush. Yeah? Here, you're trying to do tiny work with a big brush. That doesn't really... That's not easy. So I'm just adding more green to this gray and bringing this up to up to the speed where I need this color to be. Okay, and so I have this one. So I'm gonna make, this will work for me. Then I'm gonna grab this new green that I made over to the side. I know, right? And then I'm going to grab some of the yellow, any yellow. In this case, I have a lot of this lemon yellow left. And I'm going to add this to this green that I have. And it's going to make this whole different shade of green. See? So this way we have two different shades of green. Okay? So I'm going to... Um, I'm done mixing. I'm going to need a round brush for that. I think like a number eight or something like that, like a big round brush. So I can see, oh, here's my number eight. Never mind. Okay. So number eight, it's pretty big. Okay. I'm going to put it in the water. And I'm going to make sure that I pick up a lot of paint. Okay, and what I'm gonna do, look, look first, and then you guys can do this. I'm gonna, you can go, Ben, if you're done. Um, I'm gonna start at the top, uh, at the bottom of my painting, and I'm gonna drag it up. And as I'm dragging it up, I'm gonna be twirling the brush, twisting it in my fingers. So here's my base, and I'm just twisting it and seeing it wherever it goes, and. Again, and twist. See, it kind of makes these weeds look like 
but they are twisting too. Just kind of start at one side and carry them over. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go and grab this other color I made and I'm going to add it. And at some point over here, I'm just going to start right behind the submarine. So it kind of gives it a three dimensional and maybe I'll go around the fish, right? So that they're not all hiding behind the seaweed, but there is like more of interesting things happening. Something like that. And so just keep adding it as much as you like, okay? For your windows, if you want to have a little bit light on your windows, you can add a little bit like a light highlight with your white. And you can add little eyes to your fish. The way I would add the eyes is I would grab my painting brush and I would add the, use the tip of it and I'll dip it in black and very carefully just put the eye in. There you go. Okay. If you want to add the name onto your, to your, um, uh, to your submarine, I would use a tiny, 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 tiny liner brush, like I have a three zero liner. And uh, that's what I would use, but I would probably do it before I put the seaweed in, yeah? So I hope you enjoyed this painting. I hope you had fun. I would love to see what you ended up with. I would love to see your submarine, your design. And we'll be back next Monday, 10 o'clock in the morning. Central Time um, painting something new. I will upload, I will put up the event on the page. Um, and I think I will schedule it on the YouTube also on the channel so that you can print out your supplies and everything you need to paint with me. Um, what else? What else? Oh, yeah. If you would like uh, to paint something more adult friendly, join my group. So you would just go and find the group Paint with Luba. It's, uh, you can go to facebook.com slash groups slash paint with Luba and you'll find it. And I think that's it. Uh, there is lots of tutorials on there. There's lots of things on my YouTube channel. So I think that's it. I hope you had fun and I will see you next time.